Well, this year marks the 50th anniversary of democratic reform in Tibet. Tibet, Tibet has seen a historic transformation. And starting today, we begin a new series on the changes in the Tibet Autonomous Region. Today's installment is called New Tibet, New Life. Wang Guan has more. This village in southern Tibet is known as Democracy Village. That's because it's the first village in the Tibet Autonomous Region that evolved from feudal serfdom to a socialist society after the democratic reform beginning in 1959. Half a century ago, former serfs elected their first leader. They cast their votes by hurling stones. And democratic principles have gradually taken root ever since. <laughs> Now local villagers voice their concerns to visiting legislators. And these local deputies will be representing the Tibet Autonomous Region at the National People's Congress next month. My thing is environmentally friendly and cheap. I hope the government can promote it. The democratic process couldn't have come without expanding freedom of individual villagers. 77-year-old villager Boksam and his wife still remember the days when they were serfs. At that time, they were just serfs with no freedom whatsoever. I began serving my master when I was eight. It was hard. His wife said he had to salute their masters on the street by taking off their hats, or else they would have been beaten. Deprivation of personal belongings were also a commonplace occurrence, and access to education was beyond their wildest dreams. The illiteracy rate before 1959 in Tibet stood as high as 95 percent. But since democratic reform in 1959, times have changed in the Tibet Autonomous Region. Now Lobsan earns about 70,000 yuan per year. Along with government subsidies, he says he lives a comfortable life. What pleases him even more is a local school in his village. His grandson studies there thanks to the central government's free compulsory education system. Without the Communist Party, a new Tibet couldn't have been possible, and the happy lives of the descendants of former serfs couldn't have been possible. The changes in Kosong village reflect changes that have taken place all over the Tibet Autonomous Region. At the central government's continuous policies, and bolstered by the ingenuity of local people, it's hoped that Tibetans will live an even happier life in the years to come. Wang Guan, CCTV.